Hello friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our 51st video in uh, Python GUI de development with PyQtify. So in the previous video we have learned that how you can connect your PyQtify application with MySQL database. So this is from the previous video and we have successfully connected our application with MySQL database. So in this video I'm going to show you that how you can insert data from your PyQtify application to the MySQL database. So, uh, in the previous video, I have uh, created a database, and uh, now uh, I'm going to just uh, create a table in here. So, I want to create a data table, and for uh, I needed three rows for this. So, three columns. Uh, the first one is ID, uh, the type is integer, and I want uh, uh, this uh, should be auto increment. and click on go okay uh, now you can give any length so let me just give it 10 uh, I have uh, a name and uh, this is worker and I want to give it 200 another one is email uh, give it worker and uh, 100 okay and after that click on save so now we have created a table data and uh, right now we don't have any data in this table so it's an empty table okay now uh, I'm going to open my this uh, uh, so uh, now uh, I want to just copy my window code and paste it in my new Python file and just change the title to inserting data okay so we need some imports in here the first thing I need let me just change this to Q uh, no problem I want it should be Q main window there is no problem okay uh, we need a Q push button and uh, I think uh, okay, we need a Q line edit. Also, I, we need Q message box. Okay, so let me just add a Q V box layout also. The first thing we need, we need to create a Q V box layout, and after this, I'm going to create self dot name. Uh, so the fields so q line edit and self dot name dot set placeholder text and please enter your name self dot name dot set style sheet and I want to give a style for this so back ground uh, background I want for the background yellow and so dot name dot set font cute GUI dot Q font and you can give your font types on serif and the font size 50 okay so this is for the first one and uh, let me just add to the vbox layout vbox dot add widget self dot name and set your layout self dot set layout to the vbox layout let me just copy this because I want for my email changes to email and let me copy paste it in here please enter your email and add in here add in here add in here okay so let me just uh, run my application I don't have anything in here uh, so 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 
so dot set uh, let me just change this to uh, q dialog and q dialog let me run this so uh, now we have uh, two uh, uh, text field in here uh, line edits like this you can write and also we need a cuper button so let me call self dot btn q push button and the text is insert data uh, vbox uh, dot at uh, widget self dot btn so let me also add some style for this self dot btn dot set style sheet and for the background I want to give it green self dot btn dot set font uh, sun serif uh, set uh, mm, font sorry cute gui dot q font the type is sun serif and the size is 15 okay so uh, this is our simple design uh, for our this application and now we are going to work on our uh, uh, inserting data so let me just uh, create a method in here diff insert data okay now I want to uh, let me import my MySQL DB as in DB con mdb dot connect so my this is localhost uh, my username is root I don't have any passwords for my database and my database name is pyqt5 okay now uh, with con and I'm going to create a cursor object so con uh, dot cursor so now we need to execute our query cur dot execute so this is an insert uh, into mm, into data so my table name is data and my field is name and email okay so this is uh, mm, my field now the values that I want so for the values and I'm going to uh, use the string placeholder so s and uh, string like this okay and uh, now the uh, uh, now we are going to uh, get uh, because we are uh, uh, getting the uh, data from the user so now we need to get the data for our from our line bit now I want to join this dot join uh, self dot name dot text okay so uh, this is the first text uh, that I want to get and the second one dot join uh, self dot email uh, dot text okay so these are the two uh, data that we are going to get from our users okay and uh, also we need to give a queue message box dot about uh, for this self inserted 
data inserted successfully successfully and we are going to uh, close our database after inserting data now this is uh, uh, the sample code uh, let me just connect this with my push button self.btn.clicked uh, dot connect and self uh, dot insert data okay right now uh, I don't have any data for my database and let me uh, run my application so for example let me write something and the email address insert data data inserted successfully now I'm going to check my database that uh, I have this data let me refresh my web server and now you can see that I have the first one data this is the name and email and the idea is auto increment uh, we don't need to worry about this let me just another data For example, John and John at gmail.com. Insert data, data inserted successfully. And I want to check my database. So I have the second data. Uh, this is uh, our uh, simple example for inserting data. I will add the source code to the video description. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel and also share the videos.